freeze frame character intro. Using CapCut and it's free. First, position your playhead where you want the freeze to happen. Then tap on the clip. Look for freeze and you should have this static frame. With the static clip selected, look for duplicate. And now you have two copies of the static frame. Select the first static frame and look for overlay. Now with the overlay track selected, look for edit on Hypic. Just install the app if you don't have it yet. Now at the bottom, look for cut out. Then tap auto select. Hit check. Now you have your subject without the background. Tap apply to CapCut and it will bring you back to the CapCut app. Now as you see, the cutout is big, so resize and align with the original frame. Cool! Now these next steps are optional, but feel free to follow if you want to add a white border on your subject. So with the cutout track selected, tap on duplicate. Then with the duplicate track selected, hold to bring down and align with the cutout track. Now select the original cutout track and go to adjust. Then go to graphs. On this white graph, drag this point all the way to the left to produce a white image which will serve as the stroke. Hit the arrow and hit check. Now we have our white stroke layer. Feel free to adjust the size and position based on your preference. Now select the cutout track at the bottom and let's add a slight zoom in. Go to the first part of the clip, then add your first keyframe. You should see a red diamond below. Then go to the last part of the clip and slightly increase the size of the subject and it will add a new keyframe automatically to complete the slight zoom. Do the same for the white stroke layer. If you want to learn more about keyframes, I have 11 video recordings where I discussed keyframes and its use cases. Check the pinned post on my Facebook page. By now, you should have something like this. Now select the main frame track, then go to effects, video effects, cartoon, then select Retro Cartoon and adjust the intensity according to your preference. Hit check, then tap the back arrows. Then go to Adjust, select Brightness, and set to negative 15. Select Saturation, and set to negative 15. This will make the subject pop out more. At this point, your video should now look like this. You should now be pretty much done. Just add your desired text to complete the character intro effect. Add some music, export, and here's your final output. Please share the video and follow for more.